Hey guys, welcome to yet another interesting and informative video by Simply Learn. In today's video, we're going to be learning all about pointer versus arrays in C. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. So now, without any further delay, let's get started with the one point agenda that is pointer versus arrays in C. A pointer is a variable that holds the address of another variable to be executed which can be of data type int, char, array, etc. A pointers are used to access the memory location easily and it reduces the storage space, also helps to increase the speed of a program execution. Let's look at the syntax. So, int asterisk symbol followed by the name of the pointer variable, where p is a pointer variable holding address of another variable of type integer. Similarly, a pointer variable can hold the address of a variable type char, float, array, etc. So, to understand in a better way, let's have a look at the memory representation of a pointers. So, basically, when we declare a variable, memory is allocated and the value of a variable is stored in that memory at some address. So, in this example, let's consider the address to be 200. Similarly, when a pointer variable is declared, memory space is allocated and the value stored in that memory is the address of a variable a. So now let's execute a program using a pointer variable. So as you can see my screen, let's create a main function and inside that, let's declare a variable int a and assign a value 10. Then creating a pointer variable and then we cannot assign a here. So we have to give a reference of a, not a variable a. And then let's print the value of a. Comma a. So this this statement here, printf statement will print a value of a that is 10. So let's execute it. So as you can see, the value 10 is printed successfully. And now if you want a reference of a that means address let's give you a reference to know the address of a and let's execute it so here a is stored at the address this and now let's see uh, print the a sorry print the variable p And here, let's print P and see the output. So as you can see, what P is uh, holding here, that is the address of a variable 10. So as you can see, the same address. So here, this is the address where 10 is to, and this is the P, P is holding the address of A. And now let's see where P is stored at. So here, you can see uh, this is the variable 10 and this is the address where a is stored at and this is what p is holding the address of a and this is where p is uh, stored at, at the address this. I hope it's clear. Now we got some basic idea of how to use pointers in C. So moving ahead, let's understand what arrays in C is. An array is a homogeneous collection of elements of the same data type. Similar types of elements are stored under one name called an array name. And also the array of elements stored in a consecutive block of memory. Suppose you want to store 10 numbers. In that case, you must create 10 variables separately to hold the values. Instead, you can use arrays that contain more than one value under a single array name, which becomes easy to access the elements through the index. And also it avoids memory overflow. Array syntax is data type followed by array name and the array size. So now let's look at the memory representation of an array in C. For example, int as a data type, a is an array name and the size is 5. So here array initialized to 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So as you can see, 
the index starts from 0 to n minus 1 which is up to 4 and all the five elements are allocated consecutively in the memory. So now let us try to execute a simple program to understand the array declaration. So here let us declare a variable that is array a of 5 we are giving a size of 5 equal to and assign of values 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. And here we are giving a for loop in order to print the elements one by one. So let's give i also here. So for i is equal to 0 till i less than 5 and i plus plus print the values. And here we are giving e of i. Okay, so let's execute it. So as you can see, the values are printed 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So here, as you can see, a of 0, so initially i is equal to 0 and i up to less than 5. So here, as we know, this is index 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So up to this, up to 4, it will print all the values. So initially, i is equal to 0. It checks whether 0 is less than 5. If yes, then it will print the first value that is 10 then again go back to the for loop increment i by 1 so now i is equal to 1 so it comes to the control comes to the next position and checks whether 1 is lesser than 5 if yes then prints the second value and it goes up to i is less than 5 that is 4 is less than 5 then it will print the last value that is 50 following let's see the basic comparison between pointers and arrays in C So first let's see the declaration. So in pointers we have int asterisk pointer that is the pointer variable and then in arrays we have int as a data type a array name and the size 5. Then coming to the working a pointer is a variable that holds the address of another variable to be executed and in arrays the array is a collection of an element having a similar data type and storage of a pointer a pointer is used to store the address of another variable Whereas arrays, the array is used to store the value of a variable. So basically, in pointers, it only holds the address of variable, but whereas in arrays, it holds the value of a variable. And coming to the capacity of a pointer, a pointer can hold only one address of a variable. Whereas arrays, array can hold or store n number of variable values. So with this, we have come to the end of this session on pointer versus arrays in C. I hope this session was informative and interesting. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.